Hello and welcome to the first of this series and this is my reaction slash review of the first episode of series 5, The Eleventh Hour. I thought the episode was amazing, I think it was a great first episode for Matt Smith who is behind me on my wall poster. Yeah I am that sad. Um, yeah I thought it was a really great episode for him to start with. I think it, sometimes the story got a bit slow, but I think it needed, it wasn't really about the story in this episode, it was more about the Doctor and Amy, and I'll be talking about them in a bit, but overall, yeah, I thought it was really good, I thought the enemy was quite cool, I thought the, ah, uh, with all the teeth, that was, I look like an idiot doing that, but yeah, I thought that, I thought the Prisoner Zero, like, effects when it was with the people, I thought that was really good, bit um, weird with the actual Prisoner Zero itself, looked very CG-ish, but obviously it would because it's Doctor Who and that's what the effects have always been like on Doctor Who. But yeah, I, d I did like the Prisoner Zero, I did like the enemy. I liked the new characters, I liked the new setting. It's, it's, I like that it's not London. I know it might sound weird, but every single episode near enough that's set on Earth that's been in the last four years, or five years now, has been in London or in Cardiff and I like that it's now in this little town of Led, Leds, Led, Ledsworth that's it um, in the little towns of Ledsworth which is like a nowhere town in the back end of nowhere and now Amy Pond or Amelia Pond as her, her actual name is has been picked up by the Doctor but I'll talk about that later so first of all the opening cut titles and the uh, new music the new theme tune here they are Mm, yeah, that's the response that they get. I'm really not sure about them. The titles are okay. I think I like the thunder and I like the fire, but I think it's too slow. But like the TARDIS in the old credits bounds through the vortex, whereas with this new one, it just seems to be gliding, kind of slowly pushing along. And I don't know, the new theme tune. I didn't, I hated really, uh, when I first heard it the first time, I know it was only like three days ago, but I hated the theme tune at first. I'm kind of starting to like it, I just missed the bump the bump, bump the bump, I look like such an idiot in this video. But yeah, I missed the four, I missed the drum beat. Now, on to the main thing that I want to talk about, which is, number one, the Doctor. Okay, so, my laptop, no, Kira's laptop just beeps because it's running out of battery, so, Hold there one second. About that, back now. So, the Doctor, the eleventh Doctor, the new, fresh, freshly regenerated, new, 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 new. I actually was planning on saying new eleven times then, completely forgot how many I said, so let's just go with the new Doctor. Yes, the eleventh Doctor is here. Okay, so the new Doctor is great. I love the costume, which obviously was announced ages ago, but I just I think it is really cool. Um, what else was there I wanted to say? I like his whole... At the start of the episode, he was very David Tennant-ish, but I suppose you expect that after he's just regenerated. But I think by the end of the episode, when he told the... Completely forgot the name of the aliens. Well, he told the aliens to run. I think that's very different to David Tennant, who was much of a more caring doctor I think I think this doctor's much more aggressive like he grabs Rory and I uh, kind of threatens him I think he's much more of a action doctor than David Tennant's doctor and although as much as I do love David Tennant's doctor and I he will always be but there he is behind me looking at me um but he will always be like the doctor that I loved doctor who I came to start like loving doctor who as much as I do now because of him I think Matt Smith's doctor's gonna be very, very good. 
I'm very I'm very looking forward to his thing. There were a few moments that I thought were brilliant of his Dr. Lodge in the hospital when he said who the man and he was like never gonna say that again. Um the whole chemistry between him and Amy and Matt and Karen, the actors and actresses. Um I think it's really good, which brings me on to talk about Amy who was just brilliant. I think she's gonna be a great companion. I think she's gonna be I hate this word as well, on there's another YouTube channel that do Doctor Who reviews and she said this same thing. I hate the word feisty. Does they always describe the companions as feisty? But she is. She's just because of the story of the episode, and if you've seen the episode you'll understand, but because the doctor left her for all of those years, she's grew up kind of hating him, but at the same time completely in love with him because he's the raggedy doctor. He's the doctor that came into her garden and opened her eyes to a massive eye in her wall which I really wish that would happen to me. If the Doctor crashed in my garden, I'd be, I'd be running off. He would never see me on this YouTube channel again. Maybe a quick vlog from the TARDIS. But apart from that, no. Anyway, completely went on a little ta um, tangent, tan fan tangent. It's really weird now. So yeah, I love Amy. I think she's going to be great. I'm a bit worried that she's in the TARDIS in her nighty and they've just went through time and space. At the end of the episode, she's kind of, you know, going to be fighting aliens in a nighty but we'll see what happens and lastly she left I'm guessing she's marrying she's marrying Rory oh, I can't say that sentence I'm guessing she's marrying Rory but she just left him the day before their wedding day and ran off with the doctor who's left her for 14 years since she first met him to him it's been a few hours or about 20 minutes as he says that is <laughs> wow See, that's what I love about Amy's companion so far. She's completely different to others. As much as Rose, sorry, itchy leg. As much as Rose was in love with the Doctor, she was never really in love with Mickey, and she left Mickey easily. Whereas it seems as if if they're getting married, Rory and Amy are pretty much in love, and she's just leaving him, which is a bit sad for Rory. But I'm sure we'll see him in another episode. Okay, this video has been way too long already. Hope you enjoy my little review slash not a rant, review and dissection of the episode. I've probably missed things out that I've liked because I'm trying to scram it all into a video. And you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's Doctor Who. It was an, an amazing episode. That's all really you need to know. Don't like the credits and not really sure about the opening uh, theme tune. But I'm sure I'll come to love them. And if I don't, then oh wow, the show's still going to be great. I'll be back next week. Uh, probably on Monday again I think maybe I say this I have no idea when I'll be back but yeah I will be back next week to review The Beast Below BBC One 40 past 6 I think I think it's back to it's normal 45 minutes as well so it'll be only good old 45 minute episodes no more of these hour long ones so I will see you all later Geronimo So I was just editing the video and I remembered I forgot one major thing about the episode which I couldn't just leave out. The new TARDIS. Yeah, that might have just looked like I was uh, trying to eat you then, but it was that was a shocked face. Um I love the new outside, I know it's not very much different, it's a bit different colour, the windows have changed a bit, and there's the new um I'll be new slash very, very old. Um, St. John's Ambulance logo which I love I like the oldness of it then inside what the hell it is now a massive and I know the TARDIS has always been bigger on the inside obviously but now it's even bigger bigger on the inside it is huge and I can't wait because I've heard that we're going to see other rooms we're going to see a library and a lab and all that kind of thing and there's a level underneath and there's like the column and the pillar and I'm doing lots of hand actions to try and represent it reason is I've got a picture of it here. New TARDIS, a bit like but oh! Sorry, had to just put that in there that I love the new TARDIS as well. See you later.